Hello everyone, Seven here. This is the first time I'm doing this recording voiceover thingy. I've、uh, been meaning to do this for quite a while now, but honestly, I can just never get used to the sound of my own voice. But Artiso has been kind enough to ask me to do a review for one of their tablets, and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to start talking, give you a basic overview of what their product is, what I like and don't like about this tablet, and also, you know, just give you a Basic summarization of how I work in general. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. I like to start things off by blocking in the basic shapes and colors. So, this tablet from the start felt really smooth. It feels really nice. I was getting nice clean lines, and I was adapting to it really quickly from my usual pen display setup. So I decided to do something that is a little bit more complicated. I went with a flowering tree, some grass, and one of my OCs. Now I'm not a big techie person, so I can't really give you any of the statistics or talk about them. But all I can say is that I don't feel like I'm being held up by this tablet, so that is a really nice thing to happen. One of the nitpicks I do have with this tablet is that when I was blocking in the colors, as I'm moving my pen across the tablet very quickly. I felt that the pen was a little bit flimsy. It almost was squeaking in my hands. Honestly, a bit distracting. Not the biggest deal though. I moved on quite quickly from that. Now, because of how smooth this tablet felt like, it definitely lends itself really nicely to something that is quick and fluid, such as blocking in the basic shapes and colors. So I was relatively curious as to how well it can hold up to a step that is more slow and detail oriented, such as tracing. I feel like with time and a bit of a practice, I was able to trace really nicely. So I was getting really solid lines. I was getting a nice amount of detail from this tablet. You'll see me spend quite a long time here during this tracing step because I was getting used to this tablet. But also, I don't trace that often, and it generally just takes me a while to do it. So now while I'm tracing, let's quickly talk about this tablet. It is the Artiso A1201, 12 inches. The setup process is pretty simple as well. All you need to do is hook up the wire that came with the tablet, download the driver from their website, and you are all good to go. My favorite thing about this tablet is actually the hotkeys on the left side of the、uh, tablet itself. You can switch out the function that you don't really use that often with things that you use all the time. For me, it is Alt. I use color pickers quite a bit, so it's super nice to just have that right beside your hand while you're working. And honestly, this is one of the biggest things I missed after switching over to a pen display. I am just so happy to have it back finally. So the most complicated steps comes in after tracing. It is the part where I need to refine the colors, make sure that the light and shadows are conveyed, make sure that the characters blending into the setup. So it is quite annoying. There's a lot of things to keep track of. You can see me zooming out quite a bit because I need to look at the bigger image before going into more details. And I do like to color in my line art as well, just so that they blend in a little bit more. It is just a stylistic choice. I feel like I actually don't have that many things to talk about when it comes to this part of my process because there's just a lot to cover, and I feel like I can do multiple videos when it comes to covering colors, shading, or characters in general. But the biggest rule of thumb is to always stay rough. Do not get attached to anything you're putting down, and to always be prepared to delete or erase whatever you don't like from the image. Yeah, so the tablet was holding up really well during the background portion of this painting. Once again, you know, I feel like one of the biggest things when it comes to these sort of either pen display or just drawing tablets in general, the biggest thing you want from them is that you don't want to be hindered by them, right? You want to feel like you're drawing just. With a pencil or something just on a regular piece of paper, but you can do so much more through a computer. I was slightly nervous when it comes time to start rendering the character because if you think about it, it is one of the more complicated things you can do. You have to make sure that the facial features are in the right position. You have to make sure that the hair and clothing are rendered properly. And in the end, I feel like I can safely say that this tablet held up. It is definitely on par with my usual setup, and if you think about the affordability of this tablet, I think I can say that I am satisfied, and I am super happy to have this chance to just push this tablet and see how far it goes. And yeah, I'm just 
happy person. So if you're looking for a more affordable option, definitely check Artisol out. They have tablets, they have, I believe, pen displays and a variety of other accessories. And the rest of this video is going to just be straightforward detailing. I will leave you guys to it with some music as usual. This piece is for sale on Imprint. If you're interested, check it out. I will link my Instagram and Twitter down below as well. So if you'd like to give me a follow, that's really appreciated. And other than that, I would just like to say thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much, Artiso, for giving me this chance to give you a review. Yeah, um, I know I have been really inconsistent with uploads. I've just been really busy lately with other stuff. So please forgive me and do let me know what you think in the comments below. And other than that, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Enjoy.